Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to a new week. It's going to be fun because we're talking about fun this morning. How confidence can be fun. Stick around. We'll be back right after this. Oop, wrong button. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey, there we go. We get the right button every once in a while. That's what we call in the biz a technical difficulty. Hang on. Switch microphones. There we go. That's better. How's everybody doing this morning? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. I helped Vicky shoot some video this weekend. She got all my all my settings all wonky. Let me get that back over there where it's supposed to be. So, hope you had a great weekend. I did. It was a lot of fun. Um got to go see fireworks on Friday. Friday? Saturday. Although it was quite an experience, but we'll save that story for another day. Speaking of stories, when you get here, if you'd leave a comment, uh, whether you're watching live or on the replay, that's how it goes. Whether you're watching live or on the replay, if you'd leave a comment, that would be awesome. Let me know that you're here. Say hi, how you doing? Whatever. You can join the likes of Joe and Catherine who have done just that already. And especially those of you that catch the replay or come to find the comments from one of our um, audio feeds, you are especially welcome to leave comments. We love hearing from you guys too. All right, so this morning, our topic this morning is confidence is fun. Confidence is fun. And as you know, I was getting ready for this and, and putting some notes and whatnot together, I was thinking about kids and how kids play. And you know, you, you've seen her here very often. Our um, oldest granddaughter, Lindley, she's about seven years old. She was with us most of the weekend. And when she's playing by herself, she'll be in there and she'll have her, you know, her dolls, whatever. They're talking to each other, having conversations, doing all that stuff. Then when you watch, all that dries up. Now, she's a little better about it than she used to be, and she's really good about doing things like singing and that sort of thing. But why is it that when somebody's watching, that play changes? It's because of a change in confidence. I'm not sure that that the person watching will think what I'm doing is funny, entertaining, okay whatever and so they throttle back we do exactly the same thing right how many times have you heard someone say or read a post that said if you knew you couldn't lose what would you do well all that's doing is is taking away that that ego check that we put in there to kind of hold things down Maybe the best quote I've ever heard that, that describes this in some way came from uh, Chipper Jones, played baseball for the Atlanta Braves, and he called it, in his, an interview with Sports Illustrated, necessary arrogance. He said, it's the arrogance that allows me to believe I'm about to hit a home run when this, when this pitcher has struck me out the last three times. Right? It's, it's a level of confidence that allows me to not worry about the risk. All right, think about that for a second. It's a level of confidence that allows me to not worry about the risk. Take jumping out of an airplane, another great example. If I have a parachute, right, and I have confidence in that parachute, then that takes the risk out and I can have the fun that's associated with doing that sort of thing if you find those sorts of things fun. I do. So, so there has to be, I, I also think, and this is, this is the new ground we're plowing today. I think in order for any reward to be fun, to, for any result to be rewarding, there has to be some risk involved. Now, stick with me on this. I get on this topic a lot about participation trophies and how bad I think they are. I think I finally figured out why they're bad. 
and it has to do with confidence. We started, we, the Royal, we started this movement of participation trophies so that nobody would have to lose and everybody would, would have fun playing the game. But even the kids know that there's something wrong with everybody getting a trophy. If everybody gets one, mine's not special, right? The problem is that we take all the risk away. And when there is no risk, there is no, the, the reward is diminished. I won't say there's no reward, but the reward is diminished, right? If everybody gets one, mine's not special. It's not, it's just not worth the effort anymore. So, and, and if I know I'm going to win, there's no requirement for confidence. I know that, that, that sounds funny, but it's just like courage and fear, right? It's impossible to demonstrate courage in the absence of fear. It's unnecessary to have confidence if you know what the outcome's going to be. I'm getting a trophy whether I, I mean, honestly, I don't even have to show up to all the games and still get a trophy. So we've taken the incentive for the reward away. Now, let's apply this to what we do every day in you know, business, life. We have to be willing to take risks. And our confidence needs to not come in confidence of the outcome, but in confidence of my ability to compete. And the confidence in your ability to compete. If you know that you can compete with the best in your market, you might not even win. It's this necessary arrogance from Chipper Jones, right? I might not hit a home run every time, but I believe I can every time. That is the confidence that you need to bring to the game. So when, when we're talking about confidence, and, and look, I can't give it to you. That's, that's another mistaken idea that we'll have to explore another day. I can't give you confidence. All I can do is tell you that you have everything that you need. You have to find that confidence in yourself. Now, confidence comes from experience, right? I can't read a book and get confidence. I can't watch a video and get confidence. I have to, necessarily have to, go out and try and build that confidence myself. Confidence is a result of experience. You've got to go do it. So just like sitting in the driveway waiting for all the lights to turn green when I talk to someone who wants to start a business but I'm waiting to get all my ducks in a row or get all my I's dotted and my T's crossed. Not happening that way. You gotta get out there, get after it, and get it done. All right, so today have fun, take some risks, go build some confidence. Because every time you do that, every time you take a risk and, and everything's okay, you stretched your comfort zone just a little bit, right? And that comfort zone, it, it, will, it will retract if you don't keep pressing it. But once you stretch it, it's going to stay there for a little bit. And you can keep going in that direction if you keep pressing. So have fun, build some confidence, and be back here again tomorrow when we tackle another topic here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Hey, listen, if this has been valuable for you, if it's given you something to think about today, I would appreciate the old thumbs up, thumbs up, stars, hearts, likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching and listening. And I would equally appreciate you sharing this video with one other person who needs to hear this message. You don't have to blast it out to your whole network. Just pick that one person. Send them the link so that they can see uh, and hear what we talked about here this morning. I'll be back tomorrow with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning, bright and early at 7 a.m. You guys have a fantastic Monday, and I will talk to you then. Take care.